showing you new items and these are new I think I've seen these at Target so I don't know how long Dollar Tree is going to be having them but they're like Lunchables but I guess for adults maybe uh, just wanted to share with you guys hey guys we're on a Dollar Tree road trip I'm at the Dollar Tree in Comac and I'm glad I came because I'm finding some things that I was looking for I'm just scanning through the hair care accessories. They also have the uh, a lot of scunchy items. That's name brand. This is really so cute. Pineapple elastic. Yeah. Seeing stuff that I've seen already, but also seeing stuff that I've never seen before, like this eye candy. Uh, never seen that before. Um, I just see those two colors. Yeah, definitely. Now's the time to stock up. I mean, I want to say for back to school hair items, but we don't know what's going to be happening in September. But I just had to share with you guys. Also, have been looking for these travel bottles, and these would be good not just for travel, but also you could put some bleach in there. Maybe if you have a larger bottle of sanitizer, like I do in my car, you can consolidate it. Um, bug spray you can pour in here and I'm going to do that because I was eaten alive this weekend when we went out to dinner by the water so uh, who wants to carry a big thing of off or a big thing of cutter bug spray so that's a, an idea that I had so uh, just sharing with you guys happy that I'm I found those I came over here because I was looking for a bottle opener but this is a wine corkscrew perfect for traveling um, I had one for travel, but I don't know where the heck I put it, but it's just perfect if you're going away, and you never know, you might want a bottle of wine. I wonder, is it a bottle opener on it as well? I don't think so, but it's only a dollar. Something else that i seen, trying to think, what was it that I wanted to show you guys? Oh, they have the ice cream scoops. I like these ice cream scoops but they don't have a bottle opener. I have one at home. I just wanted one for the loved in so I don't have to keep lugging something back and forth. They also have these freezer packs in the larger size. I hauled the smaller ones last week. I did not see these or I would have got these. I ended up purchasing them at a supermarket and paying $2 each, which I'm a little annoyed about, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna take them back. They have these dishes now very pretty they are ceramic they have the coffee mugs and they also have the bowls and then they have uh, the drain mats the kitchen towels pot holders so that's really a pretty set down the stationary aisle in a while but they have these really cool customizable planners for 2020 so you build it so this looks like the out side binder it comes with some stickers I think then here is sheets looks like they have different patterns and different ones yeah pretty cool yeah, really, really cool. I don't know what these discs could be for, but maybe you could do it with DIY. With, I don't know. I don't know what, what these are. I've seen these holds, but I've never seen them. Um, don't really see anything else new. Nothing else new are those snack trays I was looking for and these are kind of sturdy the white ones I found I hauled a few weeks back they're very flimsy but I'm not interested in these colors but these are nice bright colors that looks like a nice coral orange and that's the bright lime green this is the other wet and wild um, I hauled the ones that had the two pink nail polishes in them I don't see them but this is the other color where one's more like a clear um, oh, here, here it is. This is what I hold. So you see the two differences.
not really seeing nothing in the cosmetic section new, except I did find another card candy highlighter, which I will show you in the haul. Only one. Not seeing any other color varieties with this LA Colors um, Extreme Eyeshadow Round Palette. We're getting ready to get out of here. I'm just waiting online. Hi guys, good morning. Happy Monday. We are back in the love, not the love den. Oh my God, we're back in the Nissan Rogue for another Dollar Tree video. Um, as you guys know, I'm a nurse in New York. They're testing us for COVID-19. It used to be twice weekly. Now my job is doing it every Monday. So I said, you know what? There's a Dollar Tree in Comac, which is a nice store that I haven't been in in a while and there's certain things that I'm just not finding locally so I said I'll make a day of it I went to my job and did the testing there because um, the place by my house hurt me okay so I said you know what I don't have to make an appointment I'll just roll in there get it done I did not want to see those people and then um, head out. So here I am in Comac. I just came out of Dollar Tree and I want to show you some wish, wish list items that I have been on the hunt for that I have not found at the Dollar Trees in my immediate area. There is another Dollar Tree down the street, but I think I'm Dollar Treed out. Um, Macy's Backstage is open. I found that out today and they open in an hour and I'm hearing they have a clearance on bags and everything. So I'm headed to Macy's Backstage. I'm not a fan of Macy's, the big department store, but Macy's Backstage is something like a TJ Maxx or Marshalls. So I'm really excited to go in there and see what they have. So let's get into this Dollar Tree haul. I'm going to start with cosmetics first. I tried to put everything in order so it will go kind of smoothly. Um, I found this Hard Candy Fairy Dust Highlighter. I'm not sure if I am going to like it, but hey, it's Hard Candy. It was only a dollar, so I'm not really losing anything. They only had one, okay? Um, I also found this Wet n Wild Gel Lip Balm. I did find and purchase two other ones. I didn't show you guys in the haul because I forgot it in the bag. They're so tiny. Um, they're okay. I like the texture on my lips, but as far as the pigmentation and the colors, I don't know. And I really honestly looking at this one, I seen this, which looks red, but when you look up there, I think that might be the color. So I don't know if I'm going to like it. So whatever, but I did get three of these lip glosses from Beauty Benefits. Um, they're always on an end cap display. Um, most of the times, um, most of the times they're on an end cap display by the cosmetics. Um, this one is strawberry. This is like a neutral one. And this one is watermelon. Now, I don't know. The neutral one is called what? Crepe. I don't know if they're flavored. I don't know why but it's supposed to be sparkling lip gloss mega shine high shine i'm gonna swatch the neutral for you and i really like their their lip uh glosses i really do um i don't think i i've never tried anything else i have bought purchased other items but i never tried them don't ask me where they are so here it is a nice neutral lip well if you've been rocking with me you know I like that this can go with anything not getting a lot of product when you not getting a lot of product they do have the other lip glosses which I like that come in the squeeze thing I don't think I like those better Yeah, you really don't, when you go in and pull out, you really only, you don't get a lot of product. I said that a million times already, sorry. It's okay, guys. I like the other ones better that come in the container that you can squeeze with the plastic uh, applicator. I've had better lip glosses. Maybe I should have just bought one before buying the three. 
I don't know, but I bought better uh, lip glosses from Dollar Tree before and from Beauty Benefits. So I know now to stick to the ones in the plastic um, container that you squeeze that has the plastic tip um, because I'll be putting this on forever, okay? But I'll let you know how I like the other ones. So that's all I got in the cosmetic section. Um, down the hair care aisle, I did purchase this Via coconut oil. They also have, sometimes have tea tree oil, but I never bought that one. Or maybe I just bought it once, not thinking that it was really 100% tea tree oil. Um, I don't even think this is 100% coconut oil, but I do like these to condition my wigs. I like these as a cuticle oil, especially, you know, the second week of your pedicure. When your cuticles are looking white, put some of this on it and it makes you you look like you have a fresh pedicure so I mean if you want to use it for that it says promote stronger shiner healthier hair moisturizes skin cuticles and nails I've never put this on my body I've always used this on wigs or as a cuticle oil so I don't know and the beauty supply stores they sell this brand and they sell them for two dollars so for a dollar this is a good deal and Dollar Tree has consistently been restocking that item for a while um, a surprise find down the tools and hardware aisle I found these disposable filter masks and you get eight in a package so you guys know we have to wear masks no this is not an N95 but if you just need a mask because you're going to be compliant because I'm going to be honest with you all those surgical masks and all those homemade masks and all those fabric masks that we're walking around with if you listen to the CDC they don't really protect you from contracting the virus so what's the difference if you if you bought these and wore these and you get eight for a dollar so these are good to have on hand and keep in your car because how many times you go somewhere you forget your mask or you might be with a family member that don't doesn't have a mask like will probably be one of my man boys and they can wear one of these to be compliant because you can't go in stores all of the stores I see say no mask no entry so I only got two packs they did have two more on the shelf. There was no restriction on these. I could have bought all of them, but I only bought two. Okay. Um, the big birthday is coming up in less than 30 days. I'm really excited. Um, I'm going to be 44. And I'm cheesy. Okay. Love my husband to death, but he doesn't... He's very romantic and very thoughtful in his gift giving like me, which I like because I've never experienced that before, unfortunately. Um, so he really puts thought into gifts and I put thought in, you know, I think I give good gifts and I think I put thought into the person. When you're giving somebody a gift and you know them, I like to personalize the gifts uh, to that person. But anyway, my husband, he wouldn't do this, okay? It's not that... He would pay somebody to do that but on his own I don't think he would do this so I'm as always you guys know if you know me if you follow me on social media I'm always ready for the camera um, so for this birthday's photo shoot I want the numbers so I'm gonna be 44 so I bought two uh, two fours and I had a birthday tiara actually it was a tiara for a girlfriend for her birthday and when we went out I forgot the tiara so I used it and I hear about this all the time uh, on my birthday trip last year I was fortunate enough one of my dreams was to wake up on a Caribbean island and I got a chance to do that I went to the St. Thomas for my birthday last year which I'm going again this year um, and I was able to wake up um, on a Caribbean island for my birthday so I did a little photo shoot uh, before we hit the beach and I had a tiara I'm talking a lot sorry so I seen this one because I can't wear the same tiara this one says happy birthday it's in my favorite color pink which is my birthday color this year um, well, I'll be wearing pink for my birthday I just think this is the cutest and it's only a dollar and you know I love it so I had to get this and I have my my numbers you really can uh, do a beautiful birthday decorations using Dollar Tree items and I decorated the cruise cabin uh, for my husband's birthday we went on a cruise last year and I decorated the cabin for him 
and it's just really really nice it's just a really really nice touch like I said I love him to death but he'll forget something like that but he'll do something else that's very special um, yeah so that was fun I'm gonna show you a picture of my birthday tiara last year now That was a very that was my favorite vacation of all times I don't know if because it was my dream vacation you understand what I'm saying I don't know why but that was my favorite vacation and I really loved that uh, hotel in the island moving to kitchen items I did get the waiters corkscrew I don't think it has a bottle opener on it but you know what I do have a small corkscrew somewhere like this that I specifically bought for travel reasons um, but I don't know if I'll find it or where it is. It's somewhere. So I bought another one just in case. As you know, get it or forget it. I also bought a can opener for the Love Den. Okay, so we're not lugging can openers up and down. Um, Food-wise, I didn't get anything. This Dollar Tree was very well stocked in the uh, food department and the freezer department. But I didn't get anything except these. I found these just walking around. This is Texas Toast garlic and butter croutons I didn't even know that Texas toast made croutons so I just got one bag um, because I really don't eat salad if I, I really don't but when I have a certain salad sometimes like a Caesar salad or something like that I would want croutons and so I'll have that if I'm making a salad for company or whatever like that um, and in the kitchen section I seen these durable parchment paper pop-up sheets great for baking so I like it because it's already pre-cut. You get 25 sheets. I've never seen these at Dollar Tree before. So I picked them up. And it's they're really a nice size. 15 inch by 10.75 inches. Really a nice size. So I was happy to find that. And when you buy parchment paper, you have to make sure if you're going to use it for baking. I made a mistake once. I had some wax paper. I put it in the oven and it almost started a fire. So you got to get make sure it says for baking when you get it. Um, cleaning supplies. I'm good on cleaning supplies. I don't need anything in the cleaning supply section. But I did pick up this bleach alternative Ajax for the Love Den. I probably have some at home. But we have two kitchens. Um, so kitchenette one kitchenette and then one full kitchen so I don't remember if I have two bottles of the bleach alternative and they did have other varieties this one looks like pomegranate or citrusy whatever like that so I got one of that and I did pick up two more of the fresh and clean laundry detergents um, this is what I have been rocking with um, I like it my mixture is two boxes of this one box of the uh, extra my new mixture one box of the extra color safe bleach which I have hauled and showed you guys and one bottle to one and a half bottles of the Purex crystals any scent that you like I didn't grate up the Zolt soap I, I don't like I don't like the smell of it so um, mix that all together it smells amazing your clothes smell so fresh they come out nice and clean this is only a dollar um so uh, most of the time you find this at Dollar Tree this seems to be a item that they restock and is it a Greenbrier Dollar Tree product it is a Dollar Tree product so we should be seeing this uh, we should be seeing this on an ongoing basis and um, I like it so I purchased two boxes of that because I just made up a new batch and it lasts forever seriously it really lasts forever and I do have the liquid tied it's just that when I bought the machine for the basement it said powdered laundry detergent only um, so yeah I've been rocking with that I did find some new socks in the women's department these will be great work socks they're nice and thin um, these socks wash well look at the nail polishes isn't that so freaking cute and you get two pair for a dollar so I got those I picked up these just for the love den I'm very disappointed I, I usually buy my um, I love if I haven't told you already which I know I have I love these plastic bags I use these especially for travel I wrap my liquids in um, saran wrap and then I put put them inside here I love a good uh, plastic bag I do 
probably not great for the environment, but I love them. I'm trying to think, guys. It's just trying to stay in order here. I don't know if I showed you guys this. I did pick up this. They have all the new scunchy products, and then they have this. This is a clip. And I just think it'd be nice and pretty. Uh, when we got married, I made my own headpiece. But I definitely, definitely, well, my dress was white. Yes, virgin white. <laughs> I was innocent. Um, but if I was, you know, if we ever renewed our vows on an anniversary, if I was wearing off-white or anything, just, this would be so pretty in the hair. And I only seen one of them. Really, really so pretty in the hair. Um, I really like it. And it has the gold sparkles in it. I think it's so pretty. So I did pick that up. Show you that. And I bought four of these travel bottles. I have been looking for these. I like it because it's a spray bottle and then it's a small bottle. You could put hand sanitizer in here. You can make your own disinfectant with bleach or if you have a disinfectant cleaner at home, um, put it in these bottles and keep it in your car. Um, I'm going to use one of these spray bottles for bug spray that can go in my pocketbook. We went out to dinner Saturday night. It was my idea. I want to go to Nautica Mile, so we went. They opened up outdoor dining. So we got a seat by the water, and it was around 7.30, 8 o'clock. Well, we had to leave. We could not eat. They were everywhere, crawling all over you, these annoying gnats. I, I mean, that horrible 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 I have bites on my legs horrible we had to get the hell out of there and I had on jeans we had to get the hell out of there so now I'm going to be prepared I'm going to be bringing I mean the to me the restaurants they should have sprayed I mean come on all the customers you look at each table there you, nobody could eat people were leaving so just for those occasions I always like to be prepared so I'm going to put some of the cutter bug spray oh you you know not the spray one but the the one the liquid with the spray bottle i'm gonna buy some of that and fill up in one of these spray bottles so i can be prepared and comfortable wherever i go because i do not do bugs at the beach i really haven't had a problem at the beach but uh, my husband did ask me for spray which i had one day he said flies but i haven't had any problems at the beach but so i got four of these again perfect for travel but also you can use the spray bottle for other things and i was happy to find another mirror because if you remember in my last haul i hauled two of these i had three one was damaged um so i need this for my sister's product project that she asked me to help her uh, redo a space I told her I'm not an interior designer but um, I did her wall for her previously and she liked it so she asked me to help her create an oasis for her she's into plants so she wants to make a room just dedicated to her plants and that is my Comac Dollar Tree haul I am by the time I get back to Melville that's where I'm headed next to that Macy's it should be open and I want to get in and see what they have because um, I always find especially when I'm going on vacation I always find great clearance bathing suits swimming trunks for uh, Mr. Fuller because I do his travel shopping as well uh, he has the life all he got to do is pack his suitcase I do all the shopping also because he doesn't take his time he doesn't take his time he'll just buy anything and he doesn't care the cost he thinks I'm cheap it's not that I'm cheap why pay more when you can pay less simple right but that's it guys I will be talking to you soon and thank you for your support on the Shein haul um, that was really fun and I hope you guys check them out so you can get on get in on the good deals that they have and uh yeah maybe i'll uh do a macy's backstage haul i gotta see what it's looking like you know i'm getting this information secondhand you know what i mean so uh i want to see what it's looking like and if it's something worth showing i will definitely take you guys along thanks for watching stay tuned for some beach some beach fun